orders are as follows. Good morning, kids. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough where we are in the camp, but not exactly a uh, long rest for now because I want to talk with all the other party members to see if they have something to say. Then we're going to do the long rest. And I realized something after I, I ended the previous episode and recording. I said like, oh, I have an item. I'm going to give it to Lazel and whatnot. But then I realized I don't have Lazel yet back. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's not going to happen. God damn it. Anyway, uh, I left the items that I just got from the Emperor's Hideout in the chest, but I did not put them in the backpack. For now, I just left them out here. And just in case I want to swap this, uh, put these items on somebody else. Once I uh, have to level them up, swap around the party members, that's all going to be done off screen. So I don't need to record that and just have like half an hour, one hour, just me looking around items and make changes. But for now, Grub, are you a bit more... Please, don't. Ah, uh, the same. You know. I, um... Okay, then in case I'll I want some break. supplies, uh, withers, you don't have. Fate. Does thou require a new? Nope, nothing. Right. Uh, I don't think Estelian has anything to new to say, but I will check with everybody. Yes. Nope, nothing. Okay, Gale. Sounds like we're not the only ones tracking down this Minsk fellow. Let's hope Nine Fingers Bounty doesn't attract too much competition. All right, thank you for the comments, and we'll see afterwards if we have more after we do the long rest. Where is everybody position we have? Guys, what are you breaking out here? What was that noise? All right, Kalak. Darling. Nothing new. All right, we have Jack here over here. Interesting campsite. There's some docks area. Yes. Okay, nothing new. Isabel, nice song. I don't think you have anything. Keeping very well, I hope. Nope, nothing. Come to bask in the. No, oh, I'm fine. Uh, okay, then we have Will and Shadowheart right next to each other. Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. or nothing of interest at the end of the docks, right? Nah. No. What's Ball. in here? Scratchy boy. Something's on my mind. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Mandatory pets. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Where's the owl bear? There's Halcyon. Uh, you know what? I'll start with Halcyon first. Eh, there's the owl bear. Speaking of the owl bear. You smell very delicious. Ooh. Some pets as well, and Halcyon. I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. Well, don't play, don't play your achievements. The Shadow Course would still hold sway if not for you. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones. Making 10,000 difficult decisions. Finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day, I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid. To be a leader. Hmm. I mean, you could resume your position at the Grove once you've defeated the Absolute. I thought that would be the case once. Yet. Perhaps the Grove will not need me. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely, and for so long. 
I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. All right. Uh, surprise conversation. I'm not mad about this it. This Stone Lord and Minsk are one and the same. Jahira's friend has taken a dark turn, it seems. And now this is a comment about... Oakfather preserve you. Okay, and that's pretty much about it. Okay, good to know that the Grove is doing good. And... Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe you can return there. Not just as the Arch Druid. Yeah, just a simple Druid to help around. Doesn't need to be back in leadership position, you know? And if more hard times arises, maybe you can rise up to the challenge again. Yeah, Mizora? Come for a chat? Nah. <laughs> I like that wheel. <laughs> Started to look towards her. I was like, what are you doing? Minsk, the Great Ranger. He's alive and infected. Else, we need to act. We shall, my friend. We shall. So, the Stone Lord is Minsk, Jahira's old acquaintance. Painfully small world at times. Okay, and that's about it, right? I wasn't expect. Hey, I think that should be everyone. Okay, let's go for a long rest. Lost condition, detect thoughts, and again, we'll do a double check. What's on your mind? Something else to say? Need something? Nothing from Gale, Asterian. They might not have something to say, although Kalak has. I'm gonna leave for for last then. Yes. Nothing on Jahira. No exclamation marks on Halsin. Oakfather preserve you. And no new conversations. Come for it. No thing for I like that every Let's time talk. Will looks towards the Mizora. Every time I talk with her. Almost like, not again. traveling with Be like he, he he's like you sure you, you rejected her advances? <laughs> or are you tempted? You're like, please don't do it. Hey, Kalak? I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. Oh? <laughs> I'm not sure my orifices are ready. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna pick that one. Uh... Well, what? Cliff diving? Naked horse riding? Doing a troll? Even crazier than that, if you can believe it. I want to go on a date. A first date. No weapons, no monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. Please say yes. Yeah, I'd love to go out with you. Yes! Oh, amazing. Put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here. Oh, I'm so excited! I mean... I'm okay with what we're wearing. We don't need to be fancy. It's the company that matters. So yeah, let's go. Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. Okay. Hi. Hi. You made it. You look nice. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. <laughs> what do you think you'll have? Oh. 
the grilled ribs sound good. Uh, again, uh, not exactly a seafood enthusiast. So, yeah. Just what I had in mind. Huh? Two of the Rothe ribs, please. And two glasses of... Wine. And two glasses of wine. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we are going on a date. Okay. We'll have so, a dinner. You're an adventurer, right? <laughs> How's that going? More difficult than expected. The baddies around here are very bad. Uh, bad ish. <laughs> Not trying to one up the local villains, of course, but man, have I seen some shit. But hang on, this isn't first date talk. Tonight, I'm a mystery to you, and you're a mystery to me. Does mysteriousness suit me? It does. There's so much about you I don't know. And I'm hungry for every part of it. <laughs> God, I'm terrible at this. I'm trying to have a first date, but I feel like I've known you all my life. Want to get out of here? No. Yes, no. We came to have a nice date, and that's what we're going to do. Go on, date me. I <laughs> dare you. Ooh, okay, no problem. So what's something you never told anyone before? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> During year two of my fabulous adventure in celibacy in Avernus, I once got so, um, pent up, I burnt down my field tent. Damn. Blamed it on an imp and never told a soul the truth. Beat that. Oh, poor imp. They'll have to wait. I think our food is coming. Right, you are. Right, invisible cutlery and whatnot, and drinks. Uh, hey, uh, Hank. I think we ordered the. It's a bleeder. Well, he seems cheery. Worst guy I ever met. Anyway. How about a toast? Oh, shit! You can use my glass to us. May we live every day like it's our last. Because you never know when your last will come. True. And the company. Yeah, lovely having a normal evening amid the chaos. Whatever do you mean? We're just two normal people living normal lives, very, very normally. I know I can't stay forever here with you. In fact, I feel like. <laughs> Like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much, and the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, but giving up. But to be here, with you, in the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you and i know that whatever else this city will throw at us we can handle it uh, 
Ah. Uh, I mean, first one is obvious, but I wonder if the second one. No, going for the first one. I love you too. Come on, there's something I want to show you upstairs. Oh. After you? No, after you. Okay. Hope, hope we didn't burn down the place. <laughs> we don't have any imps to blame it around, though. Unless she wants to blame it on me. But oh, that was so good. Awesome. Anything else, Kalak? Hey, wanna play pretend? You and me. Let's imagine I get to live 50 more years. We have a whole life ahead of us. What do we do? Ooh. I actually think you'd make a great mom. You know what? That was never part of my plan. But in this fantasy, I can picture it. You, me, Two little usses. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? <sighs> Damn it. I wish I had a longer road ahead of me. I want to walk it with you. I want that too. I'm not really tough enough to face any of this, you know. I'm scared shitless. But... There's a courage in me I never knew I had. I've always thought I was fearless. Never scared of a fight, of the future. But dying has taught me so much. There's no courage in fearlessness. There's courage in being fucking terrified, but still going forward. Still being grateful. Still trying. We're going to save this city. Together. It's going to be the last thing I do. But maybe you can still leave, Karlak. Call me when you work out the secret to immortality. Until then, I'm just going to get busy living my life. The only one I've got. <laughs> I have to find a way to save her. Hey, you. Ah, Carla, Carla, Carla. God damn it. Why does it have to be this way? Okay. That's everyone, right? I guess we go to bed. Uh, what do we have around here? Let's go. Sure, for more drinks. Feel like I need it. Let's see if something else is happening. Oh, what the? Something is happening. Why 
back here? They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. Um, what? I mean, my beloved had a date. confidant and loyal companion rascal. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillmane. A story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Hmm. Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flayer. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. And what did you learn? That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy. Where is this going? This one time you're about to suck my brains off. Sometimes I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Uh huh. What? Are you trying to flirt with me now? Would you like that? Um, I'd rather stick to business. Thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> Good instinct. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. <laughs> it was it's intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. Really? You have seen what an illithid can do. Again with this? Imagine, some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. And believe me, it will radically increase our chances of success against the Elder Brain. Think on it. As you drift into sleep, you feel a certain disappointment. The Mind Flare was very quick to abandon its attentions on you. Again, he's trying to make me eat that that pole. It's not gonna happen. Stop trying to make me eat it. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, that certainly happened. Uh, anybody has anything else to say about the dream? What's on your mind? I don't need something. So maybe Karlak? Or at least something regarding the date that we had. Darling, 
No. Yes? Nothing on Jahira. Then I doubt Halcyon and the rest have anything else to say. Right. That was uh, certainly interesting long rest. Oak Father preserve you. We had uh, good times and then, I don't know. I wasn't. With the Emperor. Let's talk. Come for a chat. Okay. Well, I guess let's leave camp. And we were still here in the tavern. Well, the basement, that is. So... Oh, curse to put my hands on everything. Let's make our way back through the sewers. Nice of the shield. I don't think there was... Anything else around here. Cool. Yeah, I could loot these guys and whatnot. But we're fine. Okay, that's I believe was the entrance that we took to get here. Just wanna double check. So there's nothing else hidden down here on the south. The only way is east. Not east, west. And looks like there's a whole area. Double in size. And maybe that can go back south and then more to the west and whatnot. But yeah. Okay, yo. It's a bit too far away, unfortunately. As in far away, he's not gonna go all the way to here, jump and whatnot. Automatically go this way. Uh, this here is just. Uh, yeah, we have. In the north. Oh, ow! What's that? A bit late. Sure, whatever. Oh, this is actually a locked door. Uh, what now? Sure, Asterian. Let's crack have this open. lock pick for now. Still breathing. And let's just take everything. a peek. So that should be the door. Yep, this one here at the boat. Did you go for a swim earlier? Uh, since I already heard those guys, I'm just thinking it might be an encounter I might miss later on. Oh, waypoint, nice. I'm just thinking way, way back in Act One, they was say, <laughs> way back when I saw a group having a chat and then I explore something else and then the group was not there anymore so wait why cranium rad okay is this actually What's the name of that river down there? a locked area up here the traveler's chest. Parchment and then some more crafting materials. Ah, it's a grease. Oh, somebody fell down. Okay, if it's like a isolated area. Sure, I can explore it. 
Hmm. What's that? Mount and Arabella. I? What are you doing down here? So this is not bad what we got here. Dominate person. Uh the arrow I still can have it. And no, I still need to no sell those. Okay, everything is here, just as I promised to my favorite customer. These were not easy to sleep past, both bone cloaks and fists. I assume you'll be prompt in leaving my payment in the usual manner. Until next time, your faithful procurer. On my way. Okay, and looks like this is a locked area. So nothing more on the south. Uh, I think I couldn't doubt it. Maybe there's another entrance somewhere. There's more in, on the north. Investigate the blushing mermaid. But what is Arabella doing here? These guys don't have anything of interest. Normal items, I can take them and just sell. Actually, how am I with gold still under 10k? Arabella seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Ah, this must be the girl Arabella. Hey! I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing, like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Hmm. Let's study the stone. Something's off here. Oh, barely 15. Damn. You are flooded with memories of the distant past. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. Yeah, you're right. The stone is incredible. I saw past events as if I'd been there myself. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. There are corpses everywhere. What happened? Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. And have you been on your own this whole time? Yep. And I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him. And I'm still learning. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. Okay. I don't know why I had a feeling this might have been Orin in disguise. Hey again. Right. You're starting to scare me, Arabella. Okay, and then let's see. This guy is over here. Forgot what was the name. Of course, failed against the Greece. Really? Oh wait, this whole area is greased. That's a lot of grease here. Of course, because it's the sewers, oil grease. Somebody is dumping from somewhere. Come on, Jakira. There we go. I wanna have you next to me. Wizard. Yeah, Mephits. Wizard called it the. Uh... Impressive. And it tastes Which great. wizard? And again, I know I said we're gonna explore the. Oh, Kithrak. Did you go for a swim earlier? You're here. Nah, 
don't know how to swim. Uh, then ladder up here. She's taking somewhere else. Open up. Okay. Keep I don't know where that one is going. Oh, the ladder. So doing. I'm not gonna go up just yet. Hey, you guys, what's going on here? What's this, cousin? Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. Who are you? And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. What? Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. Uh, okay, I thought... Where did this guy come from? When there's a bunch of methods? I haven't got the slightest idea who or what they're talking about. Of course you don't. Sarin, Bereki and I made our coin by going unnoticed. The finest thieves in the city. Until we messed with Gortash and he sent the cult after us. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot. Until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us. Said Bereki and I had gone strange. Right. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too. Leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness. Or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> what? Right. Yeah, I, I have... <laughs> I was just thinking. I think you're the one that went paranoid. Yeah, I'm not a cultist. And I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia turned you against one another. Oh, that's an 18. Okay. I difficult class if you don't have a lot of bonuses. She swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Right. Ah, this was a conversation here. Well, did I get any quest regarding this? No. Well, here's the thing. Um. Uh, hey, you are green. What are we supposed to be doing? Wizard told us to watch for troublemakers. But we are troublemakers. This would have been a fight over here. Oh, can I? Mm. A lot of breeze. I don't like it. There's actually a door there. Miss Elemental, right. If we're gonna have some kind of a fight. Now I'm curious. There's a lot of enemies though. But the thing that I'm thinking about is speak with the dead. Maybe we can get some information, and then there's a chest over there. 
Okay, let's see how close can I get here. Well, never mind. <laughs> Well, damn. And there's a lot of grease. Uh, not really liking it. Ah! Of course. God damn it. Uh... He needs to step over there. Really, you missed? God damn it. This might not be great. Well, actually, everybody's burning. No more grease on the floor, right? That was. Interesting choice. Huh. Yeah. Let's go with the level six. That actually cleared quite a bit. Of course, it provokes. And this actually might not be that bad. But I was curious just to. So, my thought process was like, okay, I'm just gonna talk to the, with the dead, you know, and see what's what. But I guess. That's not happening. Okay. Uh, I'm about to just fireball this. Mm. Actually, uh, hypnotic pattern as well might be helpful. I'm kind of hitting Kalak here. Oh, actually, something like this. Nice. Perfect. Then I really need to reposition here. Of course, you hit. Why would you not hit? Yeah, they are burning, so the hypnotize is gonna take them out. Unfortunately, might be not. Think about that. God damn it. Okay. not doing well. I might need to use her heal. Her big heal, that is. And he's gonna come out anyway. So... Nice. Critical hit. Uh, 
want to clear some of these smaller guys. Of course, you're not doing enough damage. God it's damn it. Uh, okay. Uh... Attack opportunity, not great. I mean, sure. Ow! And that clears some of the guys out. <laughs> Heavy to throw, of course, and at least. No critical miss, come on, Kalak. Right, there we go. Okay, interesting choice for you to do. Ah, never mind, I cannot do it. Um, maybe a potion then. Uh, you're kind of. Love really bad spot here I guess it's gonna be this one that clears that guy nice then hang on Jahira hang on not sure if that's gonna happen though if everybody's gonna focus on her, who is next? You over there. Don't. I need to clear some of these guys. Mm, it's a hit, but not enough. Of course, the grease prone. Yeah, at least after this, I can just <laughs> easily just speak with the dead. And this is gonna be a short rest, unfortunately. I'll save you, I swear. God damn it! What the hell was that damage? Okay. Okay, got hit. That takes care of that one. Let's clear him. Then clear him. Okay, it is cleared. Gotcha. Cool. And cut and run. That's about it. Okay. Who is next? You are. that they explode like that. Oh well. That's not great. Oh, fireball. Gonna be bad. You're next. Or, actually, hypnotize. Yeah. Mm. 
and that takes all three out. Nice. Oh, more or less. Uh, can I not? Yes, I can throw. You're about to burst. Here. And here I actually died. God damn it, of course. Uh, do I have enough? Clears everybody else. Take you. Yeah, they all over there and everybody. Okay, can we stop being on fire? Thank you. I don't think uh, we do have some stuff, but not much. Mostly some uh, crafting materials. So we call this. I doubt there's anything new. Moving in. This day. Well, ah, never mind. There's more guys out here. Remnants. Pineapple slumber. There's something else happening over here. Right. Ready for another gonna... round. Still standing. No matter what you heard. Get the potion. Oh, this is worth the cost. And then let them come to us. Ah, there's more on the right as well. Let them dash to me. I'm gonna go back and see the rest on the other side. Okay. My turn. Exactly. Your turn. That and it's not out of damage. Still on my feet. Okay, and there is you and just you, right? That should be everyone. Ah, you're gonna be my able to attack. <laughs> But you missed. Nice. Oh my word. Nice. Okay. So that's progress. That was a nice easy fight. One use of a potion. Uh, that was just extra. Button. I don't need anything from you. Bottle. That I can use. That I can use as well. It's a rotten net. E. And what else did you have? Uh, just a quarter staff plus two. What about the cloak? Creature that damages the wearer within two meters you see it's burning. This is something 
Oh, the quarter stuff is gonna get sold, that's for sure. But I think Jahira did I? Yeah. Trust no one. Jahira has that one, and then Kalak. Yeah, disadvantage. But yeah, this is similar with Jahira's cloak. I'll probably just sell it directly. Okay, I'm assuming the keys for this. Yes. Anything interesting in the chest? Scorch book, a goblet that can be sold. Cool. A barely legible journal. The pages marred by scorch marks and blood. Latest core belonged to Anvil Gortash. Tried to lay low with Skorval's crew, but he's lost it. Lumped in with this cult. Says Gortash will find us wherever we go. Sari knows the place in the sewers. Sari is not acting right. She's hidden the score. She says we've been acting crazy. She's not wrong about Bareki. Hunched in corner, muttering prayers if the old gods can ward off this absolute. Shook some sense into Bareki and he agrees. Sari, trust her. She's the only one, no, only one who knows the way in and out of here. If she's in with the cult, betray, no choice. We'll make it clean. Right. Um, I will be using... I'll use the... Scroll. Ah, oh, come on. Can I not select the corpse? There we go. Oh, insert item? Is there the parchment? Yeah. What item are we talking about here? It's not a journal, right? Well, I guess. Speak with the dead? Oh, not target? Well, actually. <laughs> What's the skeleton gonna say without the head? And I think... I mean, kinda makes sense that it's... The skeleton head that I need to find? Okay, Voss is still there. I'm just gonna... Let's have a look. So, cultists, there seems to be a door over here that I saw. More doors, another door. Then we have this guy that's slumbering. It's hostile. A cobalt thief. Map of the sewers. Then, did I see... Oh, thought they had dirt mount. Why perception failed? Was it just for Oh this one. Okay. Um I'm gonna roll again. Unfortunately I'm doing this so I need to succeed. Scroll note. Can go inside, but oh, I'm not taking damage. I thought I would be taking damage. Let's see what this does. Okay, I'm really off the beaten path here. Greasy, smelly climb up. Right, so that's another exit. Ocean of sleep. What's up with you? Sure, I'll get it. So we can go up the north through the sewers. This is an area as well. Here is a path. We have Voss on this side. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I got distracted Ooh, way too much. Filthy tattered map of the sewers realized in uneven scraggly. 
There is an area, area marked with an X. Next to this, it says Buck Thimble Dragon Tribe Treasure. That's showing on the map. Usually, these kind of things are on the map. It is there. But isn't this. Yeah, I already got it, right? Unless there's another one. Ah, there's a dirt mound over here. That's the one that I noticed. And actually, dirt mound there as well. I'm assuming these are all trapped. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Okay, and there's another dirt mound over there. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Crown gem coin. Yeah, this is the one marked. Unless it's all of this. Okay. On group, Asterian. Keep your distance, darling. This on first. It should be fine. I don't need to do any bonuses. Nice. Got a long road ahead. Oh, Keep that blade. one is actually a locked. Touch. But the other ones weren't. No one back home will ever believe this. Another scrolled note. What about this? Ah, oh, there's another dirt mound over here. Oh, fell the perception, so... Don't give me trouble now. Ah, this is the one. He said some something dragon, right? Okay. Uh, Asterion? Yep, that's the one. Uh, the trap is already done. Why perception failed? No one stopped me yet. Sapphire, some gold, nice. These boots have seen everything. Okay, that's mm, that. And I'm assuming all these notes keep looking kank, going real well for you. <laughs> Bored yet? Why are looking that? Nice try. You know what? Wait, can I not wake him up? Why? Okay, well, now he's fundamentally sleeping. <laughs> Alright, but I'm gonna leave it here for this episode and I guess I'm gonna check with Voss? It looks like that climb I can make for another exit we do have over here, so maybe explore here, see with Voss so I don't lose his conversation, I don't know but I don't have Lazel so that's uh, that's why why I'm a bit concerned and a bit confused if I should do it or not. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here for this episode and continue next time. Interesting episode. Glad that I uh, had that date with Kalak. That was beautiful. And we'll see where we go from there. But for now, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys. And as always, don't forget to take care.